this Shabbat we'll be celebrating Shabbat Beyachat, Shabbat together in community. And uh, I thought it made sense that we should discuss a little bit what does it mean to be in community. Okay. And um, I took from my bookshelf Pirkei Avot, which is the Mishnah that is traditionally studied between Pesach and Shavuot, because there are six right. chapters and there are six Shabbatot. Mm -hmm. And the Mishnah that I think is particularly relevant this Shabbat is the one that says... It's actually the words of Hillel, who says, do not separate yourself from the community. And what comes afterwards is part of the same teaching, and it might not be so obvious to people, but actually it makes a lot of sense that it should all be one package. So, do not separate yourself from the community. Do not believe in yourself until the day you die. Do not judge your fellow until you have reached his place. Do not make a statement that cannot be easily understood on the ground, that it will be understood eventually. And do not say, when I am free, I will study, or perhaps you will not become free. So that's the teaching. So the interesting thing is that the word for community in Hebrew, which is Sibur, mm -hmm. is an acronym, according to the commentators, for the types of people that make up a community. And um, they're not all your friends and wonderful individuals. They are the tzadi is for the tzadikim, those who are righteous, right. lovely people. The bed for the benonim, the in-between average right. sort of person. Mm -hmm. And then the reish is for the rasha'im, like the rasha that we not speak about on not, yeah. not quite so great. <laughs> so there is an acknowledgement up front that a community is made right. up of all these people. We're not talking mm -hmm. about an ideal community, but a real-life community. Mm -hmm. And the question is, what does it take to be part of this community? And I think that the... The other teachings that come um, that come along with this saying, do not believe in yourself until the day you die, all of these teachings have something to do with humility. Mm -hmm. And in order to actually be successful at being part of a community, you need to be someone who has a right. degree of humility. There's that real balance between individual and community, and I think that's what this speaks to. Um, I have two, two quick examples. One is just the word, you know, this Shabbat together, we have Shabbat B'yachad. That word B'yachad, mm -hmm. Yachad is from Echad, and, and really means not together as much as kind of as one. And so all of us together as a community also has in it the individual that we are like right. an individual. So B'yachad as one is the same root as, you know, when a wedding couple right after they become married spends time alone together, that's called Yichud, where they spend time as an individual, and certainly after a wedding ceremony, which is so much the community welcoming this new couple, this new family, and being welcomed into the, the, the loving relationship of this new couple, that they spend time alone, not to separate themselves from the right. community, right. but so they can be a positive force within right. that community. The other is that as clergy, as leaders of services, we're called shliach, Shlichei Sibur, so emissaries for the community. And it's interesting that people often think of clergy as somehow more holy or special connection to God or this, you know, select individual. And I think it's when you call us a Shliach Tzibur or Shlichei Tzibur, it's the opposite, that we are there to serve and represent and be with the community, which is and very different with, than separating right, us from the community. Exactly, and be with all the different types of people that encompass the community. Right. The ways that we mm -hmm. that we just discussed. So join us for Shabbat Be'achad, Shabbat together, this Friday night, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions or topics that you would love for us to discuss in a little more detail, please let us know through Facebook or our website, and we'd love to hear from you.